your top, right? Yeah. He's like, what we doing? To the top, right? <laughs> Level up, never catching up. Pay attention, cuz I'm so focused. I'm on weapon, bro. Demonstration got me stepping up. It's better. So, wait, make sure you got the camera on there. So, we're doing this public speaking course, right? I, um, I mainly want to go over the handout and talk about who, what, where, when, and why, right? All public speaking is who you are where you're from, what you do, and why it's important, and then giving enthusiasm to do so, right? So, uh, these forms that I'm passing out, every week I'll have the forms, right? What they'll do is allow people to write down who they are, where they're from, and why public speaking would be something that, or being able to effectively communicate to a group of people, right, about things that you find to be important. So. Let's discuss, uh, let's discuss about um, who we are. So my name is Cash, King of Deals, right? I'm from Phoenixville. And um, this is the first place that I did public speaking where I always came to open mics here because open mics are big down here in Phoenixville, right? It's where a lot of people are able to go and face their fears with confidence and becoming a better skilled artist by getting stage presence though, right? So being, being here, it took me a minute to get good at being able to not be nervous. It's not that I wasn't rehearsing. I just had to actually get out and demonstrate the same way I'm doing now, demonstrating about how important it is to express yourself. Think about it, right? There's things that you, ideas that you may have in your head, right? There's ideas that you may have in your head and you're not getting them out and making them important. Most of the time it's just enthusiasm, right? Having a good written down plan, even if it's just three things, subject, all subjects are all based around three things or four. Who, who you are, what, what you do, where you're from, and then why it's important. Who, what, where, when, and why. They're the basic skills of, um, of being able to network with people or getting people to, to believe in your idea. So I know that it's difficult to convey. Why? Because normally it's the fear false events appearing real really it's just to get past that get past your fears you just need to create a habit the habit is is that coming here every week growing and growing uh gaining more confidence is going to help you with being able to, to express yourself explain to people why your ideas are important maybe you're at work right maybe you're at work and you want your ideas more to be able to adjust things right but you get nervous your heart's racing. A good thing to do that I always do is that I always write down my focal points. So I always get a nice little breakdown of the basic stuff. What's your name? The reason why, the reason why you're gonna address something, right? And then the solution, why this, why this is a, a greater solution. You know what I'm saying? So, and then when, when does it start? And the reason why this not only benefits you, but it also benefits other people by doing so. Those are the basic components of the subject. So think about that. If the subject matter is you, we're gonna get into more about what it is that you inspire to do and maybe what makes you nervous. So I like to really reference the Mastermind Alliance, right? And what he talks about in the Mastermind Alliance, right? He always talks about having definiteness and purpose, right? Definiteness and purpose will allow you to right, be able to write your goal. Write the thing that, that you find to be important and then start making steps, small steps about how you're going to do that. So some of those steps are applied faith, right, which is called action. After you pick what you're trying to do, you want to be able to start putting action to that plan, right? Also, after that, going the extra mile. You're going to have to go the extra mile, right? You're going to have to be enthusiastic. You're going to have to do things that a lot of people won't do to get their point across, though. And you're going to have to have positive mental attitude, a positive mental outlook, too. Let's think about it, right? We could both, both approach, uh, approach a situation. Say, say we're on an island, right? And I have to go cut out your liver to save you. I know nothing about cutting out no liver. I know nothing about practicing med medication or surgery or any of those things, right? 
But positive mental outlook, right? If I had to go do something, I'm going to say, yeah, we're going to do this. I'm going to make sure that I give you the best of what I have to do, give the enthusiasm to why to believe that I could get this thing done, right? Because the belief is the big thing, right? And then controlled attention. Controlled uh, attention means that you're not moving the magnifying glass, right? Too often, we're trying to get stuff done, but we're moving the agenda. Like we're, we're on it, and then we're off of it, and we're on it, and then off of it rather than just taking small steps, right? The small steps is the detail, right? Mastery comes from the small things. So, and then also accurate thinking. You gotta actually apply the amount of uh, effort towards doing something because too often we underestimate the, the noise. Think about it, we're in here, it's all of these noise, this noise in here, right? And the market is a noisy place. Every, think about it, work is a noisy place. Unless you actually start to speak up, people won't hear you. So that accurate thinking is don't underestimate the amount of effort that it's going to take to get your idea known or find to be important by other people. Um, the other thing also that goes with that is learning from adversity, from defeat to success. You might have to actually play the law of averages, right? To have attempt something so many times that you practice it, it's easy to execute it. And you also want to have a creative vision that even if you're, you're a, a performer, like people are coming in right now for open mic, right? If you're a performer, what you want to do is you want to be able to utilize that creativity and then convey it to other people why your music is good, why the, the art that you create is good, though. you know what I'm saying? And um, give that positive mental outlook so that people can feel that, though. Maybe they just feel the music. But when you're explaining them the value of what your, your goals are for your music or your art or what you might do at your job, those things will be found to be more important when you're communicating the value of what it is that you do more clearly. So, um, and then maintenance. You gotta be regularly putting maintenance to this thing, right? And start creating a schedule. So no different from us coming here every Thursday to discuss public speaking, though. you know what I'm saying? And practice. So a lot of people, they'll, they'll assume that you gotta get up on the stage first. No, the first thing is, right, is to write the goals down. Once you got them down, you come back and follow a week, right? And then what you do is, is that then you get on the stage in a, in a few weeks, but going over the script, having a script is ideal. What's going on, folks? Uh, yeah. So the, the ideal thing is if you have a script, think about it, right? After you go after that script, the first time that you, that you go and you write this script, so you're going to just write down the small details about yourself. Even if you're trying to meet a woman, right? If you practice saying, hey, how you doing? My name is Cash. I think you're attractive. I think you're beautiful. Think about it. The better the words that you do, the better language, the more receptive that people are going to be. She might say no. She might not even be interested or whatever. But the law of averages says eventually somebody will say yes. So don't be easily defeated though. You gotta hit the law of averages and say, if you decide that you wanna get one, then you gotta do it 10 times. And maybe more depending on how much enthusiasm that you put towards it too. So, I see, I like to use a lot, utilize the word MVP, right? Because it emphasizes value and then it hones it in on the person though, right? So, do you know what it's like to be valuable? Do you know what it means to be valuable? And what are some of the characteristics of people that we see to be valuable? What are some of those characteristics, right? Some of those characteristics is is that they don't they're not easily defeated or right that they're confident or they see their mission to be like the purpose in their life. The thing that they're trying to accomplish, they take it on like I would die. I would die rather than not do these things. They find they feel to be passionate about it, which is why that transfers to feelings. Feelings is one of the major things when we're watching movies. If you want to be scared, you watch a, a scary movie, right? It's because that scary movie transfers the vision that somebody else wrote. And then we feel it and it makes us scared that you're actually looking for the feeling. So people are looking for what you have, but the law of averages says, if we don't meet enough people, then we probably won't get to the goal because it's hard out here. There's other people competing also too, right? And we got other people competing at the same thing. The thing is, the best thing that we can do is create value, offer more value. I think a lot of people miss out because I notice that I don't see good handshakes. I don't see great smiles. I don't. I see people a lot of times just like this. You know what I'm saying? Like like this. And if you do, if you're just like this and texting, 
what happens is eventually your communication starts to come across unless you're practicing actually on words, reading information so you can get a better vocabulary. Because think about it, if you want a better job, you want a better position, or you want to get with some other people, you're going to have to learn to speak their language too, right? The way to speak in our language is, is by, first off, right? Writing it down, giving the enthusiasm, right? And being committed, right, to say that, the first time might not be ideal. The second time might not be ideal. But be open-minded that you have to be creative and adjust if needed, though, right? That's why the creativity is so important, right? That if you if you know you're creative, you might have to adjust the, the way that you're conveying it so that they can receive how it is that you feel inside, that emotional intelligence. So think about this, the rabbit and the turtle. Too often we hear about the rabbit and the turtle, right? But the thing about that is because we've been moving so fast, right, that we're not mindful to write a good plan. Good plans are what make people passionate, confident, because the information about yourself is what makes you confident. You go over and over and over that same information, right, and become more confident about you by just practicing the script that you're going to write to speak to the person. A big thing I used to do, right, I used to look in the mirror when I was going to go do a show because I didn't know what my face looked like. And a lot of people see me and say I look aggressive or I look mean. So what did I have to do? I had to start smiling. Because smiling makes people think that I'm happy. It gives them the feeling of being happy. It's the sign of being happy, right? So smiling is a language. It's a way to convey happiness without speaking words, right? Those are the kind of languages also, right? Smelling good, um, dressing, even if you don't got the most expensive clothes, right? Think about that. If you dress yourself up good and you feel good about yourself, then you'll feel a lot better about yourself. I'm not talking about the brands and how much you pay, but preparation means that you're going to adorn yourself and put yourself in all of the right places and do everything that you can do, right? If it's not money, then you got to be somebody that people find to be pleasant to be around, right? That's a big thing too, right? To be around pleasant people. We always love to be around pleasant people though. So think about that. If you're practicing one, who you are, where you're from, what you're gonna say, right? You're gonna say, hey, my name is Cash. I'm from Phoenixville. What am I doing? I'm doing public speaking down here at Brazil City every Thursday, right? So I don't expect someone to go and make a complete change in their whole life. We gotta be like plants, right? And just put a drop on it and a drop on it. And a drop on it, and it'll grow. And it'll grow, right? So, when we're doing stuff like that, we can take the long. That's realistic, though, right? Consistency normally beats skill. Think about that. Some of the most skilled people never practice, right? They never work hard on it, so they're just skilled. But we know people who are very consistent. They start it, they finish it. If they start it, they finish it. It doesn't even matter about their skill level. This is the same story of the rabbit and the turtle, right? We tell kids all this all the time. But too often, right, we're not making a plan and then having patience. Patience with ourselves, patience with our plan, right? And then also seeking out other people to assist us in becoming more confident, right? We think about it, right? The strongest things that I know are people, places, and things. The strongest thing I know are people, places, and things. If you chill in a coffee house, you're gonna have a cup of coffee, right? But if you come out here and you come to open mic eventually, you're gonna get on stage, right, and express yourself. And then once you get on the stage again and express yourself again, you're gonna get better every time that you do that. And you'll get used to it. And then you'll get used to it, right? I'll tell you this, right? This is the first day we're starting off. You know, I got my homie Andrew, he showed, he was like, I, I got work, a lot of people did, but what I know about being consistent is that you just have to grow. Success is just progression on a worthy goal, too. You know what I'm saying? If you got a worthy goal that you wrote down, because too often we're, we're meeting the social norms. We're trying to fit in with the social norms. But the truth is, is that we're not taking enough time to make our plans important or writing them down so we don't forget them. Because we're making other people and not yours. Well, the day, uh, we owe the day to a lot of different people, though. You might owe the day to your boss. You might owe the day to your kids. Um, you might owe the day to coming down here and speaking to the people. Think about that. As you're doing things, you got to make sure that you make some time for yourself so that you have personal development and emotional intelligence about your stuff. How can you be passionate if you don't practice at the thing that you say you love the most? Think about that. People say they love things, right? But to me, applied faith is called action, right? We judge some of the people that we know that are the greatest people off of their action, right? Off of their endurance, right? 
into their commitment that we know we could depend on them. So, you know, being consistent, working on your skills, makes you a dependable person at whatever it is that you're working at, whatever your goals are. Think about that. We don't have to fit in. Too often when you're fitting in and you're following the follower, when you get what, you, what that comes with, you won't be satisfied. It probably wasn't even your goal anyway. That's why the most successful people are the people that write it down and consistently go over those things. So that's why music, I always love doing music. I'm an engineer, I'm an artist, I make clothes. Well, I make clothes every day. And I also, with the music, I had to practice and listen. All we listen to is my music too. You know what I'm saying? But the demonstration will get you better. You will not come back less. You're gonna come back with more and more and more. But you gotta be passionate enough to want it, go pursue it. And if you don't know how to do it, go seek some help too. And ask questions. Ask a million questions too, right? That's the thing, avid question answer. People who ask questions avidly normally get more answers too. So, no, 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 maybe not, but, you know, think about, think about it though, right, go over this information, you come down next week, I'll have a packet for you, you know what I'm saying, we'll do this week to week, growing it, getting people stronger at communicating who they are, what they do, and be able to start pursuing their purpose, right, we gotta know, we were designed for greatness. Human beings were designed for greatness, right? But the thing is, is that you actually have to work on being great on a day-to-day -day basis, basis, though. So I'm going to end with that, right? Hey, how you doing? Public speaking, too. So I'm going to um, I'm gonna make sure I share all this info, put more info out. I'm going to make this downloadable, right? So if you're looking to get this on the picture, so um, I'm gonna make this downloadable, create a link, right? So you can go over this footage, right? And check it out so then you're not just seeing me waving this paper in front of you, right? You can actually download it, write it down, think about it. If you go home, this is homework. This is homework, but you are the SME, the subject matter expert. If you take your time and your free time, I can only try to charge you for a minute. And then when you come back, I'll charge you again. You know what I'm saying about what? About you. And I wrote everything about myself on these forms though. So I wrote everything that I'm talking about is all written on here. So I actually did the very thing that I'm telling people to fill out. You know what I'm saying? It's a blank form, but my first page is me actually doing those things. And I'll tell you this, I was nervous initially just to come here for multiple reasons though. I was nervous coming up here to get started, right? But not nervous enough to not do it. And that's what it takes to really get out here and start demonstrating that you gotta actually face your fear. You know what I'm saying? That by the time I got started, I'm sweating, I'm rolling, we're going, we're having a good time, right? Why? Because I wrote the script, I only gotta go over the script. You know what I'm saying? Once you get the script, you don't need the paper, right? And that says, once you don't need the paper, it's like taking off the training wheels, right? And you're ready to actually start taking shots. But you gotta know, the world is a rough place. People aren't gonna just accept you for, for just existing, right? You will have to go knock on doors, kick down walls, not take no for an answer. Be aggressive and confident about your stuff, right? And let me tell you, it will work out. It might not work out the first time, it might not work out the second time, but be a finisher, right? Say tomorrow, tomorrow, why? Because you only gotta do a little bit every day to accomplish any goal. If you're going to college, day to day you're chasing it. So I see people making New Year's resolutions all the time, right? Think of it all the time. Every year, I've made, I used to make New Year's resolutions every year, right? But what I recognized is that I didn't have day-to-day -day goals, hour-to-hour -hour goals. It's easier to make an hour goal than it is to make a yearly goal because a year goal is huge. But everyone's making a New Year's goal. What's your daily goal? What's your hourly goal? So think about that. That's why this stuff is so important to write down because it will keep you accountable. Put it on your schedule. Put it on your calendar. Write all these things down and then rehearse them. You'll find yourself, most habits are created in 90 day increments, right? So if you do something for 90 days, you're more, you're more likely to become sharp at that thing that you go up for 90 consistent days. Mind you, that's the same remedy for quitting things too, right? If you're gonna quit something, you need to do it consistently for 90 consecutive days, right? So this is a 90 day program, right? Once a week, every Thursday, here at Steel City, right? Where we can work on these things. I'm gonna allow you to download it from the house, go over it, 
I'm not gonna put you on camera if, you, if that's not what you're ready to do. I wanna take things at people's pace, you know what I'm saying, so that they're not nervous. I, I know that public speaking and speaking to people on the stage is always everyone's fear, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna spotlight you and put you on there. I'm gonna give you a packet, let you read over it, take it home, go over it, and say, hey, I filled this out. I'm like, all right, let's go over it or whatever. And I'll give you some pointers to it. There'll be a, other people that you can converse with, meet new people. That A lot of people have the same issue, right? The same issue. So the main thing about community and coming together in a community to work on something means that you don't have to do it alone. That's the best part. You go to college, you go to school. Why? Birds of a feather flock together. People, places, and things are normally your, your past, present, and future. You know what I'm saying? If you were good people, then your future is gonna be good. If you were bad people, your, bad, your future is more likely to be bad. Why? Because those people are gonna advise you towards the things that they know or the skills that they have. That's why it's so important to go out and get new skills, right? Step up your game. Don't change by chance. Change by choice. Think about that. Make the choice to change, right? Too often we're waiting for Grand Aunt, Aunt Betty to die and for you know, Jed to get off of the, the, the late shift, the third shift, or it's not the right time. The moment that we are in is always the right time. You gotta know life is too short, right? And you don't want your skills looking at you on your deathbed like, they we was here waiting to use, be used. All you had to do was put us to use. That's all it takes. It's to fail your way to, to success, literally, right? Because if you're attempting, you ain't gonna miss every single time. You're not gonna miss every time. Eventually you're gonna hit, you're gonna gain the skill, and then your skill average is gonna go up. That 10, you ain't gonna need 10. You're gonna be able to do three and be able to get your one because consistency will create confidence and it will also give better results along the way. I'm Cash King of Deals. This was public speaking down here in Steel City where feel free to go over this info, share it to a friend, and by all means, come down next week. Look forward to seeing you. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be able to get positive reinforcement positive on um, mental outlook, you know what I'm saying, and encouragement with pursuing your goals and the things that you want to do, because too often we don't have, they might not have family members or have people in our lives that we can go count on, so going to join community groups with people who are focused on the same thing as you is a great way to be able to say, you know what, there's people out there looking, I'm going to go join with them, I'm going to create a new group, create some new habits, and start getting some new results. See you soon, next week, Cash King of Deals, public speaking, 5 p.m. every Thursday at Steel City. Hey, Eli, where are we going? To the top. To the top, nowhere else. At the Zoom Tower? Yeah. Eli, where are we going? To the top, right? <laughs> Level up. Never catching up, pay attention cause I'm so focused, I'm a weapon bro Demonstration got me stepping up While my mind is in contact with the source of everything That's a heavy thing, giving blessings, I'm a blessing Yeah, wherever I be, I see to the